Larry Bandura, Noah Pashley getting ready for the season opening meet, the Indiana Intercollegiates here at home. Um, you know, one thing I've noticed about this meet in years past is that you get a chance to swim some other races that maybe you don't compete in during the rest of the season. I guess, would you highlight that as being fun for yourselves? And then do you also enjoy watching your teammates kind of race things they're not used to? Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. You get to kind of relax and pick an event that you want to have fun with that you know maybe you won't get a chance to swim the rest of the year. So a lot of people will pick their best events. Some people just pick events that they want to have a good time with, have fun. Now, is there a little ribbing on the other teammates that swim stuff they maybe not as fast at as normally? Um, I know this year we got a lot of the sprint groupers doing breaststroke, so we got a little competition to see who can be the uh, top hundred breaststroke in sprint group. It's kind of rough because none of us do breaststroke, so we'll see how that goes. But. I imagine it's the first meet of the year. You guys look forward to this one to break up the monotony of training a little bit, get get into racing? Yeah, your body's just really beat down at this point, part right now, and we haven't raced in about three months, so everyone's pretty excited to get back into it. And the racing is probably the, you know, the number one thing that you highlight throughout the season, it, the pure competition of it, Noah? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's why you train is for meets and stuff. Give me a little bit of uh, the feeling about you know senior year as you guys kick this off this weekend. I mean, I'm, you know, it's our last hoorah, I guess, and so we're just kind of here having some fun and we're just enjoying our last year and training hard and hopefully swimming really well. Yeah, we can feel that it's coming to an end and it's kind of you're happy about it, but you're not happy about it at the same time, and it's just you're enjoying it while it lasts. Well, hopefully you guys make the most of it here this last year. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Actually, my son's a senior at Rose Holman, and they're actually worked it out in their calendar to come. So I know he's really excited. It's going to be fun to have him there. And we, my family, is actually going to feed the, the Rose Holman kids at the end of the meet. So, so my wife is taking care of that. So that's neat. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's a pretty low-key meet for us. But I, I, it's amazing to me how, how nervous the guys get, especially the freshmen, because it's their first meet. A lot of the upperclassmen will swim off events and they because they know kind of what they need to do and the freshmen all want to you know show us show us what we got you know and so but i will say this if you know with only 28 guys on the team we're going to travel 21 to like notre dame and northwestern these guys know they got this weekend and then next weekend with the miami of ohio to to make a, a point that you know they deserve to travel or they're ready because we only travel guys that can help us at that time not somebody projected to help us down the road but somebody can help us that weekend and everybody knows they're going to be vying for it. So I actually expect to see a fairly spirited meet. We haven't had an inter-squad meet. We haven't had anything yet. So usually they always get excited about the first meet. And uh, as you were saying, Indiana flavor with some new teams as well as Rose Holman in the mix this year. And, uh, you know, a chance to get some new blood in the yeah. in the building. You know what's neat is I think, uh, you know, Wabash, DePaul, and Rose Holman, it's kind of interesting. They're all pretty much rivals. And uh, Wabash and, and DePaul are, are DePaul's really, really a solid Division Three team. Wabash is a, a, a really good Division Three team. I know my son's team in Rose has gotten better every year since he's been there, and I know he's really excited about this year. So I think there'll be some them eyeballing each other, those three teams. And then uh, Indianapolis is a, a great Division Two program. IUPY is a Division One program that's really on the rise. Matt Boss has done a great job down there. We have several Lafayette kids that swim down there. So I think you're going to see a, a lot of people here because there's a lot of Lafayette kids that swim on these teams. And that's, I think, why a lot of them are coming. So I was hoping Ball State men would come and Valpo, and they couldn't do it at the last minute. So, But it, it's still going to, like you said, a really nice Indiana flavor, some new blood. It's always fun, to, I think, for them to come to the aquatic center here and swim. And like I said, there's lots of little subplots going on. The Ross boys swimming. And they're also, some, you know, some Division three teams are eyeballing each other, and, and our guys are trying to make a point to, to, to me and Jay that they should be reckoned with and put on the travel squad. So we're looking for a fun meet. We're going to just train really hard this week. And, uh, but I think just the excitement of the first meet, the step up, we'll, we'll see somebody step up. I don't know who it's going to be yet, but somebody's going to surprise us.